Hey guys, and welcome back to the Travel Nuts channel. So today, we're going to be giving you guys a few tips and kind of tricks on how we clean up our Barbie dolls. Because, you know, sometimes things happen to them. We get a lot of our dolls from the thrift store, and let me just say, you never know what's going to leave that store. Because some of these dolls are a little cray. But today, we're going to show you guys how to fix them up, whether they need a lot or just a little. So, here we go. As you can see, we have a doll that really needs some hair fixing going on, and then here we just have one that needs to get fixed. Whatever the issue is, let's get started. So to start out, let's go ahead and remove those clothes if there are clothes on your doll, because of course we don't want to get soap and all that stuff on the clothes and then it gets wet. That's not fun. So yeah, just pretty much get all of the dolls that you want to do some fixing up for and just remove all of their clothes. Alright guys, now you are going to fill a small bucket or bowl or just something with water. I recommend using cold because then the hair won't get too frizzy. Um, yeah, so just fill up some water. You don't need too much, but you do want quite a bit. And next I'm going to add in a little, just a little bit of conditioner. We don't really recommend that you use shampoo because it will just make a soapy mess. Now just go ahead and give this a mix. Now keep in mind there are many other things that you can use. Just look it up online. I recommend checking out Pinterest because you can find some great stuff on there. So yeah, just give this a mix and we'll get started. You're also going to need not only your water, but also some brushes. These are just little Barbie brushes that usually used to come with the packaging and also a towel because you don't want to make a mess. So if you have a doll that you don't really want to completely submerge the doll in water, which we do not recommend because their bodies will actually get mold. That's pretty gross. Um, you can if you want, um, but personally we wouldn't do it. Uh, you can still get their bodies wet, but try not to dump them in the water. So for her, we're just dipping the brush in water and brushing it over her hair because her hair is very silky. Um, however, this other doll here, we decided to just dunk her head in the water, which as you can see, we were careful not to get her actual body wet, but it's okay if you do. And now we're just going to brush it out, and as you can see, it will get a little soapy, and that is completely fine. And now we are just going to rinse the doll's head off in, or not head, but hair, off in cold water. Again, we want to use cold because we don't want the hair to get too frizzy. And as you can see, we're just being careful that we don't get it really on the body, but it's okay if you get it on the face. It is perfectly fine. And now we are just going to give her one last brush and we are going to let her sit out to dry. We also took the time to cut any stray little pieces that were uneven with the rest of the hair and it's easier to do while it's wet, so that's why we do it. Okay, so now it is time to clean up those random unknown marks that may be on your doll, like pen marks or things like that. There are many methods to do this, but this is what we usually try to do. Sometimes it doesn't work, but it's worth a shot. So we're just going to dump out that previous mixture that we just used, um, or you can get a separate container. And now you're going to pour some warm water inside of it. You want to make sure that it's warm because it will help to get all that stuff off. So just fill up your bowl or whatever you have with some water. And this next step is optional, but we like to add a little bit of shower gel, aka body wash, just to not only add a bit of smell, but also make it a little bit soapy as 
well. So just do that and then give it a mix. So to do this, you could either use like a paint brush or a sponge brush or a sponge or even a washcloth. And all you really have to do is just dip whatever you're using in the mixture and just start rubbing off on the doll. Now keep in mind sometimes this doesn't work unfortunately, which we're gonna do one more thing, usually what we do, just to see if it would get it off any further, but be sure to look it up online because there are so many different methods to do this. Now if your doll has some tougher marks like permanent marker or pen or anything like that, one thing that is worth trying is nail polish remover. It is so important, however, that you do not get this on their face because it can remove all the paint and they will have a very bare face. So I don't recommend doing that at all, but all you need to do is just dip whatever you're using in the nail polish remover and just start rubbing off. Sometimes it takes a very long time and sometimes it doesn't come off at all, but it is worth trying. Um, and you also want to make sure that you're not going to put this on their face again like the brush or whatever because again you might remove the paint and that's not fun um, so yeah just do that and as you can see we're trying it with this permanent marker and it worked pretty well as well as pretty well as well um, not all of it came off but it, it did work so thank you guys for watching this video sorry it wasn't the most helpful but I just thought you know oh why not so thank you guys for watching and we will see you guys later bye guys